Hey folks, it's Fred from CR Machine and I want to show you a new motor that will be um, available soon. It is... I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. It is different from all the other motors and, and even like the kits that I sell um, in that all the other motors and the kits that I sell at crmachine.com are designed for expansion chamber exhaust systems. And so, you know, I was thinking, well, you know, the stock exhaust, um, even though what you see right there is not the stock exhaust, obviously, but um, the exhaust that you see right there is a... Um, is a more free-flowing system and it does offer um, according to my testing because uh, I tested the stock exhaust as well as this exhaust and I actually got a five mile an hour increase in speed uh, just from um, the, the, the less restriction uh, that th this twin exhaust uh, system offers. Anyway I, I thought it would be nice to make an engine designed, it's not a race engine, um, an engine designed for your average individual uh, who, who lives in an apartment, who, who needs to go to work, who doesn't have uh, a, a car or, or public transportation that's convenient, and they need to get to work and maybe you live in an apartment. Uh, you can't carry a motorcycle into your apartment. You can't even carry a moped into your apartment. But you can carry a motorized bicycle in your apartment. And individuals like this, um, you need to be able to travel at a pretty decent speed. You know, 40 to 45 miles an hour can make it so you don't have to tangle with a lot of traffic and um, and and reliability is 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 a concern um, uh, um, the the motorized bicycle for individuals like this must be uh, economically feasible in other words it must be reliable and so the reduced output of this engine, um, it's not exactly stock. It does produce more power than the stock motor. Um, but I would say it's under 5 horsepower for sure. It, it could, it's probably around 3 horsepower, this engine. Which is, you know, slightly more than a stock motor. Um, some motors are pretty good. Uh, out of the box some motors are not that good <laughs> uh, because they have serious problems this motor is built on the super rat uh, bottom end and which 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 features um, um, a different ignition system it's an integral ignition system that's all fitted inside here provided that the engine doesn't have serious problems with overheating, um, this ignition system will be reliable. Um, you can see the stock NT carburetor is on it, which I'm a big fan of. I like it. Um, this is an all-metal carburetor with a screw on top and a nice foam air filter. Uh, you know, I'm a big fan of that. And I also like the stock muffler. Um, again, you know, it's not a race motor. But for those who need to get to a job, they need something that's dependable. And um, frankly, traveling over 45 miles an hour all the time can be dangerous, as we now know. So, um, this uh, engine will be available uh, with a few different cylinder head sizes. This particular one is fitted with the 5cc head and um, 
after extended um, full throttle operation uh, upon removing the cylinder head and looking at the piston, the piston was nice and clean. So that's good. Nice and happy. Um, let's start it up. Just going to pop it over and I'll be right back. Gotta do all right. Uh, the idle. I think the idle was a little too low. Let me see if I could start it up like this. This is hard. No. This engine, I'm going to call it the MPG engine. Um, no expansion chamber, simple exhaust, and it, stock exhaust will work. Um, but a banana type exhaust will also work. But it does not, this engine does not have the advanced exhaust port timing that my other engines, which are race engines, uh, have. Um, this engine uh, produces good torque um, and like I say this is built on the super rat uh, bottom end it's a 40 millimeter stroke engine the super rat I must warn you though the super rat engines um, I've received about 10 of them and from what I've found about 60 percent of them are unacceptable you hear that they're unacceptable um, and they are going to be disappointing as I'm sure some of you who have purchased this engine will probably be scratching your heads about why the performance of that engine is not good well I'll tell you it's because the connecting rods are bent uh, some of them pass inspection and those can be used as a stock bottom end. So I will have two versions available. One will be the, the totally stock bottom end. Um, and I'm, I'm not unpleased with the stock factory balance. It's pretty good. It's not intended for screaming at high RPMs. Um, and, you know, vibration wise, I think it's acceptable. Uh, so that will be the lower priced version of the MPG motor, the ones which pass the connecting rod test. And then the ones that don't pass, well, those get fully disassembled. The crank gets disassembled. A new, different connecting rod is fitted. 
and um, and it w actually, you know, it has, retains the 40 millimeter stroke. However, it will have a higher crankcase compression. Um, I do a precision balance on those crankshafts, and uh, those offer, you know, you might be able to get 200 RPM more. So you will be able to go a little faster. You'll be able to enjoy a little bit less vibration than the stock ones. And um, however, they will be more money. Um, probably somewhere, um, you know, somewhere around $500 for those. And the ones which pass the connecting rod test uh, will be um, uh, probably about uh, 285, um, similar to my entry-level engine, which basically just has a, a billet head, uh, a minor piston uh, modification, and, 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 and porting work. Um, yep, and I port these cylinders. I do, I do, a, I do a nice job on them. Um, I pay a lot of attention to the transfers. I, I widen the exhaust, but... Uh, but we don't advance the exhaust timing on this particular engine. It's designed for stock exhaust. And uh, anyway, so that's it. There's the MPG engine, and uh, I will be putting it in my store uh, at crmachine.com soon. All right, folks, thank you very much. Bye.